In this video, you will learn how to install Dlib library in the Visual Studio Code Editor. And do hit the like button if you find this video useful. Now the prerequisite for this installation is that you need to have this Visual Studio code and the Python installed into your system. But if you do not have the Python installed into your system, then I have already created a separate video for that and you would find the link of that video in the description below. So once we have the Visual Studio and the Python installed, we will open that Python project in Visual Studio code for which we want to install Dlib library. And for that, we will click on this file here, then click on this open. And now we will navigate to the location where our project is present. So for me, it is present inside the downloads folder. So I will quickly go inside the downloads, then projects. And here I will select this daily project. And now finally, I will click on this open. Now before installing Dlib, we will create a virtual environment for this opened project because it is recommended to have a separate virtual environment for each of the project. So we will also create the virtual environment first and after that only we will install the Dlib library inside the created virtual environment. But in case you already have the virtual environment for your project, then you can skip the creation part and directly activate the environment. And after that, you can install the Dlib library inside that activated environment. So to create the virtual environment, first we will open the terminal and for that we will click on this terminal, then click on this new terminal here. So our terminal is opened now and in this terminal we will type python3 space minus m space venv space and now we will give the name of the virtual environment which we want to create. So let's say this is my env. So this command is for Mac systems but in case you are using windows then you would see the command on screen and now we will hit enter to execute the command and once this command is executed successfully we will see this my env folder which is created inside our project folder. And this my env folder will have all the necessary scripts and libraries in it. Now we will activate this created environment and for that we will write source space my env forward slash bin forward slash activate. Now again this command is for macOS but for windows you would see the command on screen. Now we will hit enter and as soon as this command is executed we will see this my env within these brackets which is the indication that this particular environment is currently active. Now before installing dlib we need to install cmake library otherwise the dlib installation will fail. So to install cmake we will type pip3 space install space cmake. And once this is installed, we will see this message of successful installation. Now finally, we will install the dlib library and for that we will type pip3 space install space dlib. And now I have observed one thing regarding the dlib installation that if we install the latest version of dlib, then it will fail. And if we just run this command, which is pip install dlib that it would install the latest version only and which will eventually fail. So instead of running this command, we will specify the older version of dlib in this command itself and for that we will type double equal then 19.24.2. So this is the version which we want to install here. And currently I have 3.12 python version in my system. So this version of dlib, this 19.24.2 will work for the latest python versions also like for 3.12 or 3.11. Now finally we will hit enter. I hope I could help you through this video and this installation is successful for you also. So do hit the like button if this video was useful to you. So this installation will take some time if you are installing this for the first time in your system. 
and once this is installed we will see this message of successful installation i hope the installation is successful for you also and make sure to hit the like button and now to verify the installation let's print all the libraries that are currently installed in the current activated environment so let me first clear the terminal so that it would be better visible to you and now we will run this command which is pip space list so this will list down all the packages which are installed in the current activated environment and here we will see this dlib and cmake along with their versions now we will write a small python script which will verify whether this dlib library is installed properly or not so first we will create a python file and for that we will click on this new file icon here and now we will give the name of the file so let's say this is main.py so this main.py file is created inside this dlib project folder so make sure to create this file inside our project folder not in the my env folder now in this file first of all we will import the dlib module so we will write import dlib and we will also print the version of dlib so for that we will write print then dlib dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore let's now save this file using command s and now to run this program we will again come to the terminal and type python space main dot py so our code is executed successfully and we have got the version of dlib here which is this and this is same as this one so now let me know in comments if this video was useful to you and make sure to hit the like button so the dlib library is installed properly and we can use this in our python projects now